say this for Spider-Man. He doesn't seem like a killer. Oh yeah? How much you want to bet on that? Stupid ass guys thinking I'm not a killer. Y'all are- ah! One of the biggest disappointments I had growing up was realizing just how much superhero media sucked ass. For every groundbreaking story told with these characters, you had another one of these right around the corner. And when it came to video games, suddenly that mixed bag became a goddamn minefield. Go back five years and see how many superhero games were actually talked about positively outside of these. It's because of this that I couldn't help but feel a bit apprehensive when I saw the first reveal of Spider-Man for the PS4. Looking back, it was fine. The swing looked great. It had my favorite anime war criminal attached. There was a lot to love here, but not enough to get me hooked, you know? I mean, yeah, it looks nice, but there's also two seconds of gameplay in it. This was a conference that started with an 8 minute reveal for God of War that ended with... <laughs> Peter, go home. Luckily, next year, Insomniac actually let this game be a game. E3 2017, the big helicopter chase with Martin Lee. That's how you do a trailer. Look at that shit. Look at all that property damage. People are probably dead. This was a good trailer. Unfortunately, this also kicked off this metric fuck ton of trailers showing everything from the Peter Parker sections to the cutscenes to these dumbass things where some guy tries to explain who Spider-Man is. Like, buddy, pal, chum, compadre, I know what you're doing, but Spider-Man's had six whole movies to himself by this point. I know who Spider-Man is. Show me some cool shit. There we go. The last major showcase of the game was during Sony's E3 2018 conference. It was awesome. The gameplay was smooth, the combos were sick, Peter got the shit kicked out of him by the Furious Five because Master Shifu didn't tell him to believe in himself. This was so hype, I couldn't buy it for two years. Being poor fucking sucks. But regardless of whether my broke ass could play it or not, Spider-Man came out in September of 2018 for the PS4. Being a critical and commercial success, selling over 20 million copies and becoming the highest selling game on the PS4. Yeah, I thought it was God of War 2, don't feel too bad. The point is, Marvel Spider-Man is one of those games that really makes you feel like this wasn't a shitty movie tie-in game. This truly is the Arkham Knight of Spider-Man games, where you go around brain-damaging enemies with both your fists and your skills. Also the Force for some reason. Alternatively, you could go for the stealth option, but I really like kicking guys in the head at 200 miles an hour. When you aren't spending your time absolutely murdering criminals, you're swinging around the city using the best travel system and going from mission to mission all tied around one of the best Spider-Man stories in recent years. If for no other reason other than the fact that they finally told a story where he isn't in goddamn high school. From all accounts, this sounds like a big winner. So where's the game start to fall on its face? Oh yeah, they're about there. So, this being a huge AAA game with like a hundred million dollar budget, the developers like to boast having 200 different missions to tackle and 300 different things to unlock. And while that sounds cool, the reality of the situation is many of these missions are either really boring, really repetitive, or infuriatingly annoying to the point where you're asking yourself, do I really want the bagtastic bagman suit? God damn it, yeah I do. The game really would have benefited from just trimming down a lot of these and adding in more special missions, or collectibles. Speaking of trimming down shit, Insomniac, why would you do this? Alright, I know why. They wanted that cinematic Spider-Man experience, and that includes scenes where the side characters are just doing their own thing. I get it. The problem is they aren't fun and they should have just been cutscenes. You can already do stealth with Spider-Man. Why would I want to do slower and less fun stealth sections? The only fun I got out of any of these were watching Rhino shit stomp Miles into a pancake with all the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Both because it's really funny watching this walking tank put in so much effort into killing a teenager, and... Cause buddy, he'll be remembering that shit. Also this. This is ass. This is so ass you literally have the option to skip this, which I would say is a plus, but if you have the option to skip it, why is it here? Now, does any of this actually ruin the quality of the game? Of course not, I even played the version of this with the redone face. This game is great. I'm just pointing out its shortcomings before hopping into the next game. Keeping myself from getting a little too hyped, you know? Like, with Miles.
Don't look at me like that. The game was good, but the Tinkerer was a shit villain. It should have been the Prowler. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Giveaway time, kinda, sorta. Yeah. So I posted this beforehand, but no, we didn't hit the goal needed to reach the thing. Sad, but expected. Why'd I put it so high? Well, mostly because I was broke and couldn't afford the second collector's edition I ordered by mistake. I cannot stress this enough. Plus, getting the money to not only buy it, but potentially ship it across the country fast, safe, and secure. Yeah, that was gonna require a bit more YouTube money than I have right now. On a lesser note, but regardless of all of that, I still promise something extra and I'm keeping my word. So, to the lucky winner... That's currently on screen. Edit your original comment with a secure place to email you, wait until you receive a message from this email, and enjoy your free digital deluxe edition of the game. I hope this shows I am serious about keeping my word, and hopefully this sets us up for some bigger, but more realistic prizes in the future. For now though, I hope you enjoy, and holy shit! No!